Hey guys, I'm off work. Yay. It's cool enough outside that I feel like I can work here in the garden shed. So we're going to do some work today. So yesterday, ooh, <laughs> yesterday I went to Home Depot and I got another clear bin with a latching lid so I can start another propagation box like I have going right now because I have several props that need to go in and I didn't have a place for them. While I was there, I picked up a philodendron Brazil. I do have some cuttings that are rooting in my prop box, but I found this one, so I grabbed it. It was the only one and it was like six bucks. I do have that buyer who wanted some Brazil cuttings thrown in with her bundle, so I'm gonna take some cuttings off of this plant so that plant in the prop bin can continue growing and getting established and everything. First things first, I'm the realist. No, I brought this out here. This is a uh, Maranta that I had taken a cutting from, from work and it had beautiful baby new leaves and then they just started looking sick. And then this is a Adnason, not an Adnasonia, wow. Monstera Deliciosa, just the regular, it's not variegated. I stole this off of my sister-in-law's plant when I was there. I think I told her afterwards. Maybe not, I don't know. I also picked up, sorry, I'm a little all over the place. I also picked up while I was at Home Depot Two more bags of sphagnum moss. It's getting harder and harder to find. I had to go to three stores to find it. So we'll take all my little um, jars full of cuttings that I have sitting around and we'll put those in cups. And I don't know what else. So let's just start there. Got my bug spray. Hope this works better than the other stuff. Cause the other stuff, mosquitoes just do not care. I'm telling you, they do not care. I made a sale on my Macari this week. I think I'm about to make another sale, so I'm excited about that. But the sale that I made and already sent out was for elephant ear bulbs. I actually got a bunch of them when I was digging the area for my garden next to the house. I mean, they're everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere. So I just pulled out all the ones that I found while digging and listed them on Macari. Didn't think they'd actually sell, but they did. And they're starting to, sorry, my light's weird, push out new growth on some of these. I sold them for five bulbs for $10 plus shipping. And I actually threw in a couple extra bulbs just in case anything crazy happened. I don't want them to feel like they got ripped off and obviously you want to have a good um, sales record or, you know, customer service. I told the lady that was asking if I could throw a Brazil in with that bundle. She had asked me how much it would cost, how much extra it would cost to throw the Brazil in. I told her don't worry about it. I'll go ahead and put it in there. Uh, as long as she was okay with it not being rooted because it's not gonna be rooted, then I just throw it in there. It's not gonna really hurt me none. I've got lots of, lots of, lots and lots of plant propagations to sell. But you know what I was thinking? I spent $40 at the store buying supplies so that I could grow my propagations and plants to sell. And then I started thinking, I'm gonna have to sell eight plants at $5 a piece to make up for what I just spent on supplies to be able to sell the plants, you know what I'm saying? I don't like thinking like that because I feel like, like I like to make money where you don't have to spend money to make money. And I know that once I, I guess I have all the supplies I need and I'm established, I really won't be spending money other than maybe sphagnum moss. Um, once I have all the containers I need, um, I really won't be spending much money because the plants just keep growing. I just keep cutting and propping and eventually I'll be doing it for almost free. I went to my favorite nursery, the Plant Place Nursery here in Jacksonville yesterday before I went to Home Depot. 
to see if they had any plants in there that I hadn't seen yet, that I don't have already, or that I felt like I couldn't live without, and they didn't, which was probably best because I really should not be spending money right now like that, you know? I said I was done buying plants, and I feel like I am, but I was looking for different plants that I could add to my sales, and I need to stop. I just need to rein it in, sell what I already have, and then, and only then, should I out, be out looking for more plants to sell. Because if I don't control myself, I'm gonna end up spending loads on new plants to sell and never actually getting around to selling them and I'll just be out even more money. So trying to keep myself under control, rein it in Christy, and just do with what I have right now. Alright, so I've got my sphagnum moss moistened up. Need to gather up all my cups. What is my, my camera acting weird? But not be, but not be. This time I'm going to use these. They have holes in the bottom. I didn't put holes in the bottom of the other cups. I was just really careful with how much I water them. I don't really want to have to worry about that. So I am going to cut the drainage holes in the cups I'm using on this box. And that way when I go to water, I can just kind of water wherever and they can soak it up through the bottom or if I put too much in there, they can, you know, release it. Where was I going with that? Anyway, let me gather my cups. Can you guys see my little alocasia babies down there? They're going to go in this prop box. I'm hoping it's tall enough for them. They're struggling a bit. They're uh, in shock, I think. Some of the leaves are kind of turning yellow. I hope they pull through. I'm going to be so sad. If they don't, I could have just left the plant the way it was and it would have been fine. My boyfriend and his brother just left to go pick up a car that my boyfriend bought. So the other day he went to go look at a Volkswagen, I don't remember if it was a Jetta or a Golf. He wants a car as backup because his truck has been acting a little weird. He can fix it. That's not the problem. He, If he keeps driving his truck, he runs the risk of, you know, the motor going out or whatever. So he wanted a backup vehicle. Well, I guess when he got to the place to look at the Volkswagen, him and his buddies had started tearing it apart for parts like they knew he was coming by the time he got there it was disassembled so obviously he didn't buy that and they stopped by a family member's house that lived near there and one of his cousins had a mustang that had been parked for two years and it's ugly it is a ragtop convertible first of all let me just tell you this boyfriend doesn't like mustangs and he despises convertibles what does he do though he buys a rag top convertible. It was covered with a the tarp, they said, but water still got in. The leather seats are moldy. Like this thing looks so bad in the pictures he showed me. And all I could think was why? Why would you do it? Right. They're gonna go pick that up. And he has told me I'm not allowed to look at it until he gets it cleaned up because I don't believe that he can make it look good. I don't know why. I mean, this is a guy that pulls cars out of the junkyard and makes them look like new again. Somehow, I don't know how he does it, but he does. So I should have faith in him, but every time he starts talking about these project cars, I'm just like, this is such a strange concept to me of having a backup car. Like I know a lot of um, family households do have two vehicles because both people work, but the idea of having cars for your backups and backups for those cars is like completely foreign to me, but it's how they have lived their entire lives. His brother has what, three, four vehicles? So we have like, I don't know how many vehicles in our yard and they all work. They just, you know, like his brother will take one truck to work for a few weeks and then the other truck to work for a few weeks and he uses the other one for only certain things and this one for traveling and like, 
it's just a very foreign concept to me. I couldn't ever in my life afford to have more than one vehicle on the road and insured. I couldn't afford to buy a second vehicle. I used to stress so much about my vehicles getting broke down or something because then I'm out. I can't get to work. I can't do anything. And they just buy vehicles like it's nothing. But it does make me feel yes, like I have more security. Like I know that if anything were to happen to my truck, no problem. No problem. Not gonna lose a day of work over it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's start doing these guys. Um, shoot. I thought I was ready. I'll be back. I decided to go ahead and pot up my Monstera into a cup. You guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm gonna have to figure out a different situation. Give me one second. Here we go. Now just do me a favor and don't fall because you're not really on a sturdy surface. You good? Okay. Just do it. I'm hoping that I'll still have energy when I get done with this to be able to go outside and reorganize. That's so, it's so easy. This is so much easier than potting and potting soil. What was I saying? I'm hoping that I'll still have energy to be able to go outside and reorganize my plants out there. And I'm realizing that winter is coming. Well, fall is coming. I probably still have a good little while before it actually gets cold. It won't be cold during the day for months, but it, the temperatures are going to start dropping at night. And I can't have all those plants outdoors or they're going to end up dying off. I've got to start thinking about rearranging in here. <sighs> So I can bring all those plants back inside for the winter. And then I'm going to have to be caring for them all winter again. However, when I was on my way home, I was thinking maybe I should like take and combine all of my similar plants together to just a giant pot so that when it comes to watering and stuff, I just have to water one pot for all of them. Like all of my pothos, I have so many pothos in so many pots everywhere. I do have like big pots I could pot them up in so that, you know, like I just said, it'd be easier to care for that way. So maybe I'll do that. The only downside is when it comes time to separate them out, I've learned from doing that in the past, it can be very difficult and you can stress your plants out a considerable amount pulling all their root systems apart. So I'll have to weigh the pros and cons and see what I decide to do. I probably will combine them just to make life easier over the winter. And then at some point, Lord I hope, please, at some point, I will be buying a house and I won't have to worry about this anymore. This just goes so fast compared to doing this in soil. Now this is what I did not think about when I said I'm just going to put all these propagations in there. That's not how I was doing things and I kind of forgot about that. So I've been chopping these and then putting them in the small, the small pop, prop containers for them to establish their roots and then I move them into the cup. So right now I'll just take my rooted cuttings and pop them up. So at work we are gearing up for fall and getting ready to do our fall arrangements. So we got our pumpkin containers in today. Not today. That's a lie. We got our fall leaves in. We're changing our arrangements on the website to reflect, you know, stuff with fall colors. Lots of reds, yellows, sunflowers, and all the pretty things. And I'm actually really excited Today's very overcast and cool and it feels like fall and I'm so thankful for that because yesterday was blazing hot. Like we've had a lot of cooler days, um, a lot of rain and a lot of cooler days and just out of nowhere yesterday decided to feel like the middle of summer in South Florida. No cloud coverage, no breeze, nothing, just hot, hot, hot. Um, but I guess we have a storm out in I don't know where it's at um, and that is what's causing it to be so overcast and I'm just incredibly thankful for that. 
I just swept my floor. I just literally swept my floor and here I am throwing stuff on the floor again. I'm a mess. I'm always a mess. Probably always going to be a mess, but I am trying to do better. I feel like I should be ashamed of myself, 40 year old who's still working on being cleaner. I've been doing a lot better than I used to. Okay. I was, I was a slob and, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working real hard at not, uh, living like that anymore. And it just makes me feel good. It makes me feel a lot better about myself. When I actually get off my lazy butt, quit being down and depressed all the time. I overshare with you guys. I'm so sorry. I don't have any friends to vent to. No, I'm just, I don't actually have any friends to vent to. When I'm just being real. I struggle with a lot of things. I do. I always have. And I'm proud of myself that I'm not just letting it continue. I'm working on it. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't care how old you are when you finally start working on it. The point is, is that you're working on it, right? That's how I feel about it. I don't know what this is. I think it's a Dunkin' or Diffenbachia, not Dunkin'. I don't know. So, where was I? Oh yes, I was talking about how I'm a disgusting adult. <laughs> so I think by the time I get my home, I will have developed a routine that will prevent my house from getting overwhelmingly chaotic and disorganized. And I will have a lovely home that feels nice and comfy and clean and sanitary. And my kitchen will be nice and I'll be able to cook home cooked meals in it and I'll be able to do my gardening stuff and do the canning and preserving and all the things that I've been wanting to do for how many years now? I have a, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> There's things I could tell you guys about the relationship I was in before this one and the conditions that we were living in, not just my fault. And actually it was in those conditions that I started working on trying to improve it because it was in those conditions that I finally realized and got sick of it and, and started working on it. But anyway, enough about that. So that is, is that all my rooted plants? Oh, you know what? I did want to pop this guy up a little splash and thinking about putting them in this pot. Yeah, why not, right? Nope. That won't work. Um, so he's in soil. I guess I'll keep him in soil. I need a guy. His little root system. get on that subject. Oh, because I was throwing stuff on my floor. This weekend, I thought I was going to be working Saturday, but I'm not. So I think I'm going to go visit my mom. How is this going so fast? Usually it takes me forever. Let's give this guy a little bit of water. Not too much. Not too much. All right. Happy little Hoya, hopefully. Okay, now I need to see if there's any other rooted plants. I do have some Cebu Blue cuttings that have small roots on them, but I think, oh, don't fall. Goodness. They have small roots, but I think they'll be okay. What was I talking about? Oh, going to visit my mom and sister. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll get to meet their dog. My mom got a dog. Um, she was having some issues with a, did you say bobcat or cougar? I think she said bobcat. Bobcat was um, stalking her birds. I don't know if you guys know, but my mom has a chicken farm. No, she does not have a chicken farm. Well, that's what I used to call it, but it's not really, it's not a farm. She just has a bunch of chickens. She was selling her eggs for a long time, but she's kind of stopped doing that. And it's become more of a rescue than a farm. And she loves her chickens so much, so much more than she loved us. <laughs> But she does, she, tucks, she takes care of her chickens very well. So when this bobcat, is that what I decided she had said? 
So when this bobcat was coming around getting her chickens, like she would chase the bobcat. She would run after the bobcat, yelling at him to let go of her chickens. Like she is not scared when it comes to protecting her babies. Anyway, so she was having issues, so she got a, a dog named Cindy, and I haven't been able to meet her yet, so I would like to be able to meet her, and I hope it's all working out, and mom can rest easy knowing that her chickens are not going to be taken. Okay, so I also have some global green propagations going on that we can stick in here. I finally went back and looked at the and watched the video where I had originally taken the cuttings of my Enjoy Pearls and Jade and stuck them in that little box to start propagating. And then when I took them out of the box and put them in the cups and they are a lot more full and bigger than what I thought. So I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that I went back and looked at that because I was thinking that they weren't doing anything, but they are. It's a slow process, but it's working. So I'm happy with that. And all these, should I put all these together? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put all these together as one. Just make it easier on myself. Before I run out of energy, I do wanna get outside and while it's cool, get those plants out there a little more organized and maybe start thinking about how I'm gonna organize this room for winter. I run out of energy really fast, you guys. I wish it wasn't true, but it is. I need frequent breaks. I don't know, last Saturday, I went and spent seven hours in the woods. I hot, hungry, and super thirsty. So why can't I do that in these situations? I don't know, but um, and then Sunday. Sunday, I had a ton of energy. I was so excited, so thankful. I got so much done that oh, I wish if not, if every day can't be like that, I wish I could get a good, solid three days a week like that. I would accomplish so much if I could have that kind of energy and drive and motivation. Just three days out of the week would be amazing. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plants to put in my new prop bin. Do I have anybody else that needs to go in right now? Because I have some more. Oh, yes, I do. Hello. Okay, who is rooted? Whoops. Two global greens. And I do have, I guess, some roots on these Baltics. So, not Baltic. Sea blue. Sea boo. Sea boo blue. So, I'm going to pop them up together. And then, uh, then we'll be done with the video. I think I have enough moss left to do this. I hope so. Otherwise, I've just lied to my plants. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Didn't taste very good, though. Okay, so all of my rude cuttings have been done. Now I'm going to get them in. I'm going to get my prop box set up. All right, so I actually still have lots more room left in here. You see my alocasias? They're like freaking out. <laughs> I hope they'll be okay. I mean, this one is putting off new leaves. A couple of them are. I think that started before I replanted them, but I could be wrong. I don't know. But I still have room for plenty more plants. I'm hoping that'll be enough light for them for now. Uh, don't know what I'm going to do with this box. If I cleaned off this table, I could probably put everything that has a lid on it here under this light. And then I could use the whole light for that, but I think it'll be okay for right now. If I notice anything, then I'll change it. Alright then you guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Sorry I don't have anything like you know, interesting to talk about or show you really, but this is my life. This is what I do. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.